Hello, so just a little inspiration today. Um, I came across a letter that I got, um, I had written for me back in 2016 um, because I was struggling and um, I wasn't able to pay my bills and I wanted to send a letter to all, everybody so they could see proof that my job really was only giving me six visits, meaning I see six people in one week. So guess what? That was six hours a week, y'all. I was working. Please watch this video. I hope it inspires you. I hope it gives you courage. I hope it gives you inspiration because like I'm getting emotional because it was hard, y'all. It was hard. So please, please stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. I hope this really, really keeps you going and letting you know that God is always on your side and he is there. Y'all, so I'm decluttering my room and I came across this letter that I had my employer write so that I can have verification of why I was about to be evicted and why I couldn't pay my bills because I was trying to get my bills this straight. This letter, y'all, was nothing but a reminder of how God, how good God is. So as you see, it says $30 a visit. Okay, that's a lot of money. That's like $30 an hour. But I was only working six hours. This over. letter was dated January 6th, y'all. January freaking 6th. This letter was freaking dated, okay? This is why I had almost got evicted. Because I was only bringing home $180 a freaking week. With now, when I was in nursing school, I only was making about $200 every two weeks. Because I had to go to school full time and work part time. But th that's when I was on Section 8 and I had one child. This time I have four no section eight. I want y'all to see how good God was to me, okay? My rent, mind you, that was dated January 6th. I had already knew my rent was going to be late. I told my landlord he still went downtown and put an eviction through for me. Really? So I say all this to say I end up getting the money. I still my lights never was turned off. My car was never repo. All my bills were paid. My kids still ate. They still had clothes. They had shoes. Mind you, I didn't mind y'all. I didn't have much money for Christmas, but at times like that, I didn't care about Christmas. But the girls never knew that I was struggling like that in 2016, y'all. You know, like God is freaking good, y'all. God is freaking good. You have. I just hope that this letter was nothing but a reminder. It's a reminder anyway, because I know what I went through and it was stressful. But this is, I hope this can really show y'all, like, for real, show y'all how good God I don't is. even question God. I question him, but, you know, I don't question his stress no more. I had a hell day earlier, and, you know, it, somebody tried me, and people been trying me lately, like, trying to pull the old, old Lorna Brown out of me. You but, know? you know, I, I blew off some steam. I made a phone call. I prayed about it. I cried a little bit because, you know, when you're mad and you can't hit nobody, you want to cry. <laughs> But I'm good now, y'all. I'm good. Because I know God got me and my children and my girls. Okay? So, I hope that video blessed you. I hope that you understood it. Because it was like an impromptu thing that I had did on, um, on Instagram. Follow me and my girls on Instagram. Mom to, um, three princesses and a teen sis. Yes, it's a long name. But I'm a mama to three princesses and a teen sis. So, hey. But anyway, I hope that video um, inspire you. If you would like to know, if you're struggling, I'm not a budget person or nothing like that. But I'm going to tell you something. I know how to work with what I have. Just like my name say, hey, I was making $198, $189.48 every two weeks in nursing school, y'all. No lie, I will never forget that number. I've been a nurse now for seven years in August. In in one more month, I will be a nurse for seven years. I will never forget, never forget that um that amount I made in nursing school because in nursing school hard as hell. I honor everybody that want to go through nursing school, but it is hard as hell and it requires your time. I went to school with people that worked full time that didn't work at all. And I had to work part time. I worked what I could minimum wage, you know, well, I made more than minimum wage, but I only worked 12 hours a week because that's what was best for me, you know, with my daughter by myself. It was just me and her and I'm a single mom. Her dad is crap. And so hey, it is what it is. Hmm. So anyway, so 
you know, um, yeah, so I had to do what I had to do, but now I can't provide for my kids. But unfortunately, sometimes God say, hey, I got to get your attention. You a nurse, yeah, you making money, but how about this? How about I'm going to let a job lay you off? How about I'm going to let you almost get evicted? I'm going to let you put in 100 applications and you are well qualified, but nobody not going to call you back, right? So that's what happened, and now... I, could, I want to tell the world, I want to give my testimony to every man and woman, girl and boy, and let them know you're going to be okay. And I know my story may be minor to some, but it may be major to some. So, hey, a testimony is a testimony, right? So, I hope this inspired you. And I will um, be making some videos about how resources you can use and how you can make it. Because, y'all, I'm telling you, that wasn't just January. That was December um, when Trump... One is when I got, you know, laid off. So we don't leave that way it's said. But it is what it is. And I'm just telling the truth. And I went, it started then. I was full-time, great hours. And as you see, I went down to six patients. Never got patients back after my patients got discharged. So it is what it is. But I just wanted to give this um, advice. And I'm so glad I came across that letter tonight that was like god was like reminding me and i'm always reminded but that was just awesome so i will see you later y'all have an awesome day or night or wherever you are and look for it for my future um survival videos